All right, guys, today we're going over the calibration of the Einscan Pro HD. Now, it's a really simple, quick process. Anybody can do it. It's super easy. I'm just going to show you right now. Now, if you already, if you haven't seen it already, we've got our unboxing video of this unit. We'll have a lot more videos on basics of scanning, so be sure to subscribe and check those out. And uh, let's get right into it. So, first things first, when you unpack your EinScan, you're going to want to make sure you download the latest XScan Pro software from Shining 3D's website. Make sure you get the latest and greatest, because Obviously, that's just the best. Then you're gonna make sure that once everything's plugged in, you're gonna need a USB 3.0 slot for the scanner. If you're plugging it into a normal USB slot, it won't actually be recognized. Make sure you got the USB 3.0. And then I'm just gonna show you the specs that we're using on this laptop computer. It's about a three or four year old laptop, nothing crazy. We're running a Intel Core i7 7700HQ, 7700 2.8 gigahertz. It's a four core. We've only got eight gigs of RAM on this machine. I'd recommend 16 or more. And then as far as the graphics cards go, it's got a GTX 1050 Ti mobile version. So nothing crazy on here. Most computers will be able to handle this and you wanna make sure that you get the best CPU that you can because the processing of the scan data is most CPU intensive. And the RAM helps too because it's storing all that. So the more RAM you have, the bigger scans you can actually do. Then the CPU will make processing that a lot faster. So first things first, I'm gonna open up the XScan Pro software. Now, the first time you plug this unit in, unfortunately, our video file got corrupted, so I can't show you, but the first time you plug it in, it's gonna register with the EinScan server and the serial number of this device. So this device will be okay, it's in use in the field, good to go. Once you do that, you'll need to do the calibration process, and that's super simple. So, we go into here, and for this process, we've got the included calibration card. Now, this is basically a dot matrix with some asymmetric features, and this is what we're gonna use to calibrate and test the accuracy of the scanner. All right, so first things first, they make it super easy. As you can see here, we've got calibration and accuracy. We're gonna start with calibration, and you got steps one through five, and they're all pretty much the same, super easy. The video shows you exactly what to do. We're basically gonna hold the scanner, move it up and down in several different orientations, and we're done. So let's just go through the process real quick. First step, I'm gonna put it flat on the table, and then I'm gonna make sure to orient the plate exactly like that facing me, and then I'm gonna grab the scanner, and I've got the button on the same side as these dots. So then it's as simple as pressing the start button and starting about here, it needs to move a little further away. I'm just gonna slowly raise it up. And we're done. Let me just set this down real quick. And then we're gonna use the included stand. We're actually gonna put this in the stand, it looks like with the big dots on the left side. All right, so we've got this, dots on the left side, orient the scanner this way, and do the same thing. Hit go, keep that crosshair in the middle, and just move it up. And this is kind of telling, too, of the scanning distance. The optimal scanning distance from any object is from about here to about there. So that's something to keep in mind for when you're scanning and getting good at scanning. I'm just gonna turn it this way, do the same thing again. Start low, just slowly move up. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm gonna turn it away. See how easy this is? Literally two more steps, that's it. There's nothing to it. I'm gonna start, slowly move it away. And one more orientation, like so. Hit the button, move it away.
All right. Now that's it for the calibration process. We're done, it's good to go. We're gonna check the accuracy here in just a second, uh, but that's literally the whole process for calibrating this thing. And if it gets out of spec, like they say every few months you should calibrate it. I've never actually had to do a recalibration, but every few months it will say calibration out of date, please recalibrate. And you just go through the same process and make sure it's all up to snuff. All right, there we go. Calibration success. We've got a calibration deviation of 0 0.04 pixels. So instead of hitting next, I'm gonna hit accuracy and that's just gonna switch tabs right up here. And we're gonna test the accuracy. So I am going to take this and place it like they show it in the picture. And then I am going to do this process real quick. Just gonna start low, hit go. Too close, I'm gonna just gradually move it upwards. So then you gotta hold it at that position a little bit more. There we go. All right. Boom, so we've got a deviation of 0.1 millimeters. Not bad. So you can actually go and do this, you know, over time and see if that goes up or goes down. Um, and yeah, there we go. So there we are. Now, once it's done calibrating, you'll see the calibration date up at the top, and that was when it was last calibrated. Now I can go in and do a fixed scan, handheld scan, rapid scan, anything I want. We're done. That's the whole process. That's how easy it is. You get it, you install the software, you unbox it, and now we're ready to go. So let us know in the comments down below if you got any questions or hit us up if you have specific questions and wanna get one of these machines in your business. Now there is a wide variety of scanners available and they're all really good for specific situations and different types of environments and applications like an engine bay versus chrome furniture versus people you know scanning the busts and and then printing those out or something like that there's a lot of different things so hit us up and we'll help you find the right one for your application anyway if you like this video hit that like button we appreciate it subscribe if you're not already thanks for watching have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video.